Welcome back to Mustangs by Matt. Uh, we're back with the 2018 uh, Fiesta ST. And today we're going to be installing something that every single EcoBoost engine needs. A oil catch can kit. Uh, this particular one is from Damond. Demond. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to be saying that. Damond Motorsports. Uh, comes with a one-way check valve which is really handy so that pressure doesn't go back the wrong way. Comes in this way. Pressure goes out that way. If you're running uh, high boost applications, there is a threaded uh, plug up top that you can remove and they do sell a vent kit. Additionally, it comes with this bracket that mounts to the fender well on the inside so you got two different heights depending on what you're running and then the drain so closed open this is really one of the simplest installations that you can do and it's going to guarantee uh, your engine a long and healthy life uh, the reason you need one of these is primarily blow by uh, these engines, direct injected engines, uh, especially turbocharged ones, have a problem with getting um, oil on the intake valves and it just bakes on there because there's no fuel going past the intake valves like a standard engine would to clean those valves. So like if you go to like uh, Tecron or, or, or Shell or something, they'll have cleaning agents. And what that those cleaning agents do is they clean any oil blow by that gets on your intake valves. Well, after a few thousand miles, you'll start to notice a, maybe a decrease in performance. Maybe it runs a little rough. This will help prevent that. Uh, it, it'll keep your engine clean and It'll keep you from having to basically disassemble the engine in order to service it. So let's get going. I'm going to pop the hood and we'll get started on this install. Okay, the tools for this installation you're going to need obviously your old catch can kit. Some zip ties, one 10 millimeter nut, 10 millimeter wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and something to cut the excess uh, tubing if there is any. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so. First step to any complicated installation is to read the instructions. Here they are, and there they go. Uh, first step though really is to remove this engine cover. So we're gonna pull this off, that'll give us access to the other end of this PCB hose right here. So just There's the four mounting points right there. And set aside. All right, so the first step is to remove this PCB hose right here. So we're just gonna push these two clips together and it comes out like that. Now we're gonna remove the other end of the Again, it just pulls together, pops out. So. Oh, okay. It's uh, let's see here. Can y'all see this right here? No, you can't. Okay. Right here, there's a little clip going into this mount on the engine. So we're just going to take a, a panel removal tool, alright, and 
job done. That is the original PCB hose. We can toss this to the side. Okay, so we just took out this PCB hose and I want you to, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to try and get the camera to focus. But there's already some oily residue in there and this car doesn't have 600 miles on it already. So this is something that we definitely need to do. Uh, we've got the original hose out, we're going to go install a new one. Uh, Damon Motorsports oil catch can kit. All right, let's get going. All right, here's the kit. So, what we're gonna do as I walk behind the camera, we're just gonna route the drain hose down behind the engine behind all the rest of that stuff, steering, everything. Alright. That's going to fit snugly. Hitting on, we're hitting on this AC uh, hose right here. got it roughly in place. Thread this underneath this vacuum hose right here. Back through these sensors and that's just going to plug in right there this is going to plug in right here all right so this one snapped into place this one is not snapping into place. So let's see if we can get just a little bit of oil on this here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to try and zoom in here so y'all can see what I just noticed. Alright. Right, right there, there's a little flat spot. That flat spot is where you have to line the hose up. I didn't know that. Well, now I do, and so do you. All right, so we've got both ends of the oil catch can hooked up. It's ready to go for the most part, except we have to bolt it to the fender. See that threaded piece right there? That's what it's gonna hold on to. So, I had this bracket installed incorrectly and I couldn't mount the oil catch can kit, but just to let you know, the short end of this bracket goes on the oil catch can kit, oil catch can, and this mounts to the fender. Uh, I could have left this part out, but you know, my screw ups are your learning, so you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. Of course, you could just RTFM, but who does that? So. Let's get going. Okay. I'm not this to the back side. The whole catch can.
you, of course, will have the benefit of not doing this on the car because you saw a monster up. Yes, it fits. 10 millimeters uh, wrench. Something else you might want to think about doing while you're under here, uh, or before you put that in, is uh, grab some blue Loctite and just put on that bolt, and that way you won't have to worry about it coming out. Uh, I'm going to come back after this video and, and do that, but for the sake of finishing this, getting it ready to go, I'm going to leave it just as it is. And I ended up not having to... Uh, trim any of this hose so I'm pretty happy about that so let's finish the let's finish the job Can you see it? It is in the hole. And we're going to go ahead and put this nut on to secure it. Although, as much of a pain in the butt as that was to get on, I don't think it's going anywhere. Job done. All right, so that was the uh, Damon oil catch can kit installation. A uh, couple things: you just want to make sure that the drain hose uh, is routed away from the CV axle on the passenger side and away from the steering rack. Uh, you don't want anything to get pinched or pulled. Um, Make sure that valve is closed all the time until unless you're ready to drain it. Uh, otherwise, you'll have idling issues and your car just won't run right because now it's got an open vacuum line. A um, couple things about this kit that I don't really like. Uh, one, um, really the only thing, I, I wish it had a way to measure the amount of oil in there. That plug at the top I said earlier is for a vent if you're running high boost. Uh, it'd be nice if you could uh, also additionally purchase um, some kind of dipstick to go in there. Uh, certain other kits have it, I'm not going to name them, but that's the one thing that I would add to this kit. Uh, it's very, 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 very easy installation. It's going to look fantastic under the hood. And it's going to do a great job keeping the intake valves clean. Um, I'm going to leave a link to uh, Damon Motorsports for the Fiesta oil catch can kit in, in down in the description. I'm also going to leave a link to the instructions uh, should you need them. So that's it really. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, drive safe and God bless America. Oops. Oops. Got to put this back on.